This video demonstrates various advanced techniques for the endovascular removal of inferior vena cava filters. We will begin our demonstration with the tools necessary for removal of these filters. Shown here is the endovascular Cook IVC filter retrieval kit. It consists of an outer 10 French sheath, an inner 8 French sheath, and a clover snare which is 6 French in diameter. To retrieve a filter endovascularly, you also need a mini stick needle, wire, and micropuncture sheet to get access, and a rosin wire and burn catheter to get wire access to the filter struts. A pigtail catheter also comes in handy to perform a venogram. Displayed here is the entire setup for use. The internal jugular vein is accessed under ultrasound guidance using a mini stick needle followed by wire and micropuncture sheath as shown in this video. The tract is dilated where the needle enters the neck to allow placement of the larger sheath. This is followed by upsizing to a 5 French sheath over the rosin wire. Once the 5 French sheath is placed, the combination of burn catheter and wire is used to pass the wire beyond the struts of the IVC filter. Once this is complete, a pigtail catheter is introduced to perform a venogram to determine the presence of any thrombus distal to the IVC filter, which would preclude removal of the IVC filter given the risk of thrombus migration. This is followed by introduction of our 10 French outer IVC filter retrieval sheath. This is passed under fluoroscopic guidance. This part of the video demonstrates the function of the clover snare. There is a wire which passes through the snare, and by pulling on this wire or rotating it, the snare opens up for maneuverability to grab the IVC filter. The clover snare is introduced to the 10 French sheet under radiographic guidance. Once the snare is out of the sheath, it is used to snare the hook of the IVC filter. Advancing the 8 French sheath captures the IVC filter, and the inner sheath is then pulled out from the outer sheath leaving the 10 French sheath in place with the filter removed from the body. Finally, the filter is inspected to ensure that all pieces of the filter were removed intact. This technique is called the hangman technique, useful for when the filter hook is embedded in the wall of the IVC filter. A contracatheter is used to get around the hook A snare is used to grab the glide wire, and gentle traction is applied until the filter hook is removed from the IVC wall and the IVC filter sits in the middle of the IVC. The sheath can then be advanced over the IVC filter in order to capture the filter and retrieve it successfully from the body.
Another technique is called the loop snares technique. After gaining standard access, a larger 16 to 20 French sheath is introduced and a contracatheter is used to pass the glide wire across the strut of the IVC filter. A snare is then introduced through the sheath, the wire is grabbed, and the wire is exteriorized from the body. The sheath is then advanced over the filter and both the filter and the sheath are removed simultaneously. Completion venograms can be performed in order to ensure that all pieces of the IVC filter are removed and that the inferior vena cava remains paying.